welcome back to my channel and today I have another really cute fall DIY for you but first I have something special because Sori reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a giveaway on their electric glass cattle and I said yes we love ours it's totally all glass it has a LED light right through here the top flips up and it has a little strainer right in here and um, it boils hot water wonderfully if you want to make like soups or um, oatmeal or tea, anything like that. And you can even put um, your tea in here. That's what that little strainer's for and it won't get um, the little leaf particles in your drink. So, um, Kasori gave me a link and I'm going to put it in the description box below. And to enter, all you have to do is just click on the link and then do whatever it instructs you to do. Now the link will be open for 10 days and then um, I will randomly choose a winner and then I send that information to Kasori with, their, uh, with the winner's address and then they will reach out to the winner and ship them this wonderful glass kettle. I know you're gonna love it. So if you're interested in doing you know, signing up for the give with all that information in the description box below. Okay, so let's start making this little DIY. It's so simple. Um, I wanted something like this for um, my desk in our den. So let me show you what you'll need to make this project. You're gonna need some burlap. And I bought this at Walmart probably well over a year ago and it is still, I still have plenty, okay? So you're gonna need some of that, and I found mine in the wedding section. Then you're gonna need, I might use some of this jute. Then you're gonna need some of these little um, floral foams from the Dollar Tree. Just two of them is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna reuse this um, ribbon that I got at Old Time Pottery for $2.99, and I really do love that ribbon. Then you're gonna need some flowers from Dollar Tree, and I don't know if I'm gonna use these or these, but just whatever flowers that you choose, you're gonna need a glue gun, scissors, something to cut your flowers with, and I may even incorporate some of this ribbon, and I don't even know where I picked this up at. I truly don't know, I've had it so long. Okay, so let's start making this. Okay, what I did was I just cut burlap to go right around these. This is so simple. And then just hot glue them in the back, okay? You can do it that way, or I just started thinking, you could actually take some of this ribbon. It, you'll use a little bit more of the ribbon, but I still think I would have enough. Put it at the bottom. I don't know which way that I'm gonna actually do it. Glue that on. And then you could even take this and put this at the top to make it look really custom. I think I'm gonna do the ribbon. <laughs> but you could do the burlap and then what I was originally gonna do, put the ribbon in the center of the burlap. That was my original plan. But I always end up changing my mind. <laughs> it never fails. So all you have to do is just put your little foam on here, measure it out to where it'll meet in the back, and it's just at the bottom, and pull it nice and taut. Okay, and then all you have to do is just cut it. But I definitely need some new scissors, okay? Then, this could not be any easier. All right, then what you wanna do is just put it right here at the bottom. Make sure you can see. And I think I'll over my, overlap mine in the back. You could like fold it over in the front if you wanted, whatever you wanted to do. But I'm gonna put a little overlap on mine in the back. Then you can put then you can put the glue either on the back of this or the back of your styrofoam. 
like I said, pull it taut. And then just put you some more glue there. And that's what we have so far. I think this is gonna be really cute. Okay, then what we want to do is just pull out enough that's gonna meet in the back here. And cut it off. I think this is going to be really cute. Just put your glue on the styrofoam, push it down. Then take this piece and to give it a nice finished edge, I'm going to turn it back a little bit. and put that on there. And you could also put a finished edge on that back too. But that is what we have. I think that is so cute. I really do love it. But like I said, you could have used the burlap if you wanted. I just wanted something a little different. Now all I'm gonna do is just take my little clippers and just start cutting some of these flowers and putting them in here. And I think this is gonna be so cute. And it definitely looks like fall. And cut some of them shorter so they'll go down closer to the bottom to hide. This is such a little easy DIY and you could use any ribbon that you wanted, whatever that you like. And that's what we're getting so far. I think it's cute, but I'm not through with it. You can use any color flowers, any color ribbon, and you can mix the flowers if you want. But that is what we have. I think it's really cute. Now I'm going to put one I think a little higher in the top because to me I think it just needs a little bit more. in the top. Just to give it a little bit of height. But I think that's really cute. Now I'm gonna take some jute and just cut me some off. Gonna put this down right like this. And just tie a little bow on it. I think that is really, really cute. 
And if you wanted, you could embellish it with anything else, but I really do like that. So that's an option like that, okay? And then I think I'm gonna do this one with the burlap. So for the burlap, you just lay this down on the burlap and you just make sure that you have enough just to come across the top like that, okay? Then you just take your glue, put it right on here, It just depends what look you want. Then you just bring this one over, see about where it's going to go. Put your glue on there. Make sure you've pulled it taut. Fold this back somewhat and press down. It is that simple. And this spatula really does keep you from burning your hands. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is take some of this ribbon and just wrap it around the back of this. Just measure it out so you'll have enough. Cut it. And you could even make this the front if you wanted. I'm gonna try to get mine in the middle. Put you some glue. Fold it back. Pull it taut, push it down. And then do the same thing right here. This is so easy to do. But it gives you a really custom look. Okay, then I'm gonna take some flowers and I might, I don't know if I'm gonna combine these or just leave these like this. I may just put all this neutral color in here. I think that's what I may do. I may mix it up, it just depends. add a little bit of this kind of a lighter cream into this to give it a little bit of interest. You can use whatever flowers that you like and whatever ribbon that you like. And you can mix your flowers if you want. I think I'll put a little bit of this in back in it now. Okay, and then this is what we have so far. So what I'm gonna do, take a little bit of the twine, cut it off, and then put a bow on this one too.
And then this is what you have. I think they're really, really cute. Now I do wanna put something, it just seems a little flat to me on the top. So I'm gonna put something, give it just a smidgen more height a little bit. But I think it is adorable. I think they're really cute. Okay, here's how they turned out. Here's the first one with the two different types of ribbon and the little bow with the flowers. I just think it is adorable. It's a little cloudy here today because we have that system in the Gulf. And then this one with the burlap and the ribbon and the flowers that are sort of mixed. But I think they are adorable. If you would see these out, you'd pay a lot more than what I have in them. So I really like these. And like I said, Kasori is, I'll have all the information for Kasori's giveaway in the description box below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.